you know, mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. For what is like saying, I want to, I need to take you higher. Baby, let me light your fire. Let me light your fire. Oh, my God. <sighs> Lord, I'm going to try to get through this story because I don't want anybody to think I'm extremely insensitive. Don't do drugs. Drugs kills. Do not do drugs. And this has got to be the one of the most unfathomable stories about two folks getting high together. I mean, I've, well, I've heard of people smoking crack and turning into monsters. I've heard of people being so paranoid that they sit up in the barn waiting on people uh, with 30 yard with scopes on them looking for somebody to come down the road. I've heard of the paranoia and peeking out the windows. And, and that's what you usually do when you got somebody you getting high with. But this shit here, oh my God. It had to have been uh, just, just an extreme nightmare. Okay. So anybody out there that's Thinking about doing crystal meth. I hope to God you reconsider. And if your life is that bad that you want to start that stuff, give me a call. And I want to speak to you. Okay? Talk to me. Don't put yourself in that situation. That's what I can say. Call somebody at mental health dot com call somebody at counselors.org anybody before you take your first try of this mess now after this i share this story with you you might decide on your own that you don't need to be persuaded because you don't want to end up like this or with people like this right let's let the story begin her name is Taylor Shabusiness. Taylor Shabusiness gave the man the 24 business. 24-year-old woman from Green Bay is currently jailed on three charges, including first-degree murder. Details released today are deeply disturbing, including how the victim's mother discovered her son. Fox 11's Nick Harrington brings us the very latest. Mm. You're looking at a home on Stony Brook Lane on the west side of Green Bay. North the scene where a murder occurred on February 23rd. On Tuesday, Taylor Shub Business appeared in Brown County Court via Zoom, locked behind a door. The 24-year-old is charged with first-degree homicide, mutilating a corpse, mm. and third-degree sexual assault. The facts alleged are extremely concerning and disturbing and go to the, the violent nature and, and the grave nature of the offense. Disturbing on multiple fronts. Oh, According to the criminal complaint, Shabiznis and the victim were both high on drugs, the victim dying due to strangulation. Court records show she watched as he coughed up blood waiting for him to die. Mm. Later saying, quote, yeah, I liked it. Shabiznis allegedly removed the victim's head from his body, mm. placing it inside of a bucket, then draping a blanket over it. With horrific details emerging on Tuesday from last week's murder, it somehow keeps getting even more gruesome as the victim's mother was the one to discover the severed head. The criminal complaint shows the victim's mother was awakened between 2.30 and 3 in the morning on February 23rd from a door being slammed. Thinking should business had left, the mother went into the basement, and as she was walking up the stairs, she noticed the bucket. After removing the blanket, she saw the victim's head. Oh. Shabiznis allegedly told police all the body parts should be in the basement, but a foot or leg should be in a minivan. She is scheduled to next appear in courts on March 22nd while being held on an incredibly high bond. But I think that given all these circumstances and, and factors that $2 million cash bond is appropriate, I'll also order the defendant not to have any contact with the uh, victim's uh, 
uh, family. Today, the NFL Combine. Uh, first of all, I'm praying for the mother. Let me, who actually had to find her son head in that. Lord, forgive me. Because if if that had it been me, I just know I wouldn't be no good right now. If I wouldn't found my child's head in a bucket at the bottom of the stairs, because he didn't had a date. Oh God, y'all. Don't do drugs. Do not get even engage in nothing like that. And how somebody gonna compare that to a a a? a <laughs> I mean, to a joint is incredible. Where must your mind be to compare these two and put them in the same category? And some of these states, uh-uh, 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 it's a pure and don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Cocaine, crystal meth, heroin, I'm going to be uh, plain and simple, alcohol, all right? Cigarettes. Y'all better recognize what we out here up against. We we passing zombies every single day. Full of Percocets. Full of psych medicines. Um, all kinds of drugs that they can't handle. That the doctor done put them on some kind of crazy psych medicine that is an altered a reality. These crack babies out here now that uh, my generation, I ain't saying me personally, but my generation have to take some responsibility in the children we uh, produced that were in the 80s, early 80s. When that stuff was running around and y'all was having babies and you was dope dating and you was doing all that, look, these are the children of them. And Lord knows they just as fucked up as the generation before them. This is a damn shame. Ugh. Listen, I, okay, I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. It's just unbelievable.